Hello friends. Today we are going to see Archipteryx as an example of connecting link. First, let us see what are connecting links. There are certain animals, living or extinct, which possesses characters intermediate between two major groups of animals. The organisms having characteristic of two different groups are called connecting links. Example, Peripetus and Archaeopteryx, etc. Now let us see Archaeopteryx as an example of connecting link. Fossil record thus contains some fossil transitional link forms. One such link is Archaeopteryx lithographica a transitional fossil between birds and reptiles. Archaeopteryx was found from Jurassic limestone rocks of Solenafen in Bavaria, Germany by Hermann von Mayer in 1861. It was about the size of crow and in certain respects was quite like a reptile. Archaeopteryx is the oldest fossil bird which is more reptilian than birds. It presents a good example of reptilian ancestry of the birds. It is often referred to as connecting link between the reptiles and birds. Now let us see which are the reptilian characters shown by Archaeopteryx. Elongated lizard-like body with long pointed tail. Tail was composed of about 13 to 20 pre-caudal vertebrae which do not fuse into a phagostyle. Skeleton bones were solid that is non-pneumatic. Strong jaws were pro provided with sharp homodont teeth. Both cervical and thoracic ribs are present. Cervical vertebrae were fewer that is 9 to 10. Ribs are single headed and without joints or uncinate process. Vertebral centra were emphysilous that is having cavity on both sides of centrum as in spinodon. Sternum poorly developed without keel. Eyes are provided with sclerotic ossicles. Carpal and metabones were separate and carpometacarpus was absent. The three digits of the forearm were clawed. The number of phalanges were 2, 3 and 4 in the first, second and third digits as in reptiles. Abdominal ribs were present similar to spinodon. Scales were present on body and limbs. Pelvic griddle shows an elongated ilium and a backwardly directed pubis. Now this is a figure of Archaeopteryx which more or like looks like a bird but as we discussed the reptilian characters like a big having homodon teeth, clawed wing and a long tail with many vertebrae. Now let us discuss the avian characters shown by Archaeopteryx. Presence of feathers over the body. Four limbs are modified into wings with only three digits each. Tail bears elongated retrices arranged in two rows. Brain box or cranium is large with large orbits and single occipital condyle. Compact fusion of skull bones. Elongated jaws are present in the form of beaks. Scapulae are slender curved bones. Presence of V-shaped furcula. 
the hind limb possesses a tarsometatarsus and phalanges being 2 3 4 and 5 respectively in each digit terminating into a claw hallux is backwardly directed and adapted for perching now these are few figures showing the fossils of archaeopteryx and figure b showing the skull of archaeopteryx now this is the figure of archaeopteryx showing both the avian and reptilian characteristics the reptilian characteristics are the three digits of forearm are clawed having free metacarpals abdominal ribs and the lizard like tail having pre caudal vertebrae presence of teeth in beak and sclerotic bones in orbit whereas the avian characteristics shown by archaeopteryx are the four arms are modified into wings having feathers all over the body presence of v shaped furcula the hind limb having four digits as well as tarsometatarsus presence of retrices or tail feathers jaw elongated into a beak presence of weak scapula from these reptilian and avian characters of archaeopteryx it can be said that archaeopteryx has evolved from bipedal arboreal reptiles living in forests and accustomed to running jumping and gliding along branches hence archaeopteryx was possessing characters intermediate between reptiles and birds however skeleton framework of archaeopteryx resembled more with reptiles than the birds this extinct animal exhibits both reptilian and avian characters suggesting evolutionary origin of birds from the reptiles thus connecting links indicate the path along which more highly organized groups have progressed during their evolution from more lowly organized ancestral groups hope you understood the topic very well thank you